So this is a system of linear equations where we have to find out the values of x, y and z by using Kramer's rule. Now with the help of Kramer's rule, at first what you have to find out is, you have to find out the determinant d, so which can be written as, you have to write down a1, a2, a3, a1, a2, a3, b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. At first you have to find out the determinant. Now we have to find out D1. Now D1 means the first column will be replaced with D1, D2, D3. So D1, D2, D3. Rest you can write here B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. This is how you can get D1. Next we have to find out D2. In the same way D2 means the second column will be D1, D2, D3 and here it will be A1, A2, A3, C1, C2, C3. In the same way, D, we have to find out D3, where in D3, the third column will be D1, D2, D3. Here it will be A1, B1, A2, B2, A3, B3. Now, to find out the value of x, you can write down here, the value of x equals to, this is d1 by d, the value of y equals to d2 by d, the value of z is equals to d3 by d. This is how, what the Kramer's rule says. Thank you.